Two men, whose births mirrored that of Jesus, were Moses and Josh. The birth of Jesus was a time of great peril, marked by the massacre of the innocents, as described in the Nativity narrative of the Gospel of Matthew. King Herod, known as Herod the Great, was driven by his desire to maintain power and ruthlessly eliminate any threats, including even members of his own family. He ordered the execution of male infants in Bethlehem and surrounding areas, as he sought to eliminate any potential rival for the title of King of the Jews. Moses, on the other hand, was born into a similarly dangerous environment. He was born to a Hebrew woman during a period of oppression in Egypt. Pharaoh had ordered the death of all male Hebrew children, but Moses' mother took extraordinary measures to protect him. She concealed him in a basket and placed him in the Nile River. Through divine intervention, Pharaoh's daughter discovered and adopted him, ultimately sparing his life. In both cases, these infants faced grave threats, but they were saved through divine intervention and the courage of their mothers. Moses, like Jesus, grew up in unique circumstances, nurtured by the faith of his parents, and ultimately played a pivotal role in the history of his people. Furthermore, the story of Josh, who was hidden from the ruthless Queen Athaliah, serves as another example of how God can preserve his plan through the actions of individuals. Despite the darkness of Athaliah's reign, Josh was secretly protected and later revealed as the legitimate heir to the throne. This illustrates how even in the face of wickedness, God can raise up individuals to safeguard his purposes. These stories serve as foreshadowing of Christ's life and mission, emphasizing the divine protection and guidance that can be seen throughout the Old Testament. They also highlight the various ways in which the Old Testament contains prophecies and types that point towards Jesus, making it a rich source of spiritual insight and revelation. In the Old Testament, Jesus is not only foreshadowed through specific individuals like Moses, Josh, and others, but also through various practices and rituals. For instance, the sacrificial system in the Old Testament, with its various offerings and sacrifices, served as a shadow or type of Christ's ultimate sacrifice on the cross. These offerings were meant to atone for sins and ultimately pointed forward to Jesus, who became the perfect and final sacrifice for the forgiveness of sins. Circumcision in the Old Testament is also seen as a shadow of Christ. It was a physical act of removing a portion of the flesh, symbolizing a spiritual change. In the New Testament, the Apostle Paul speaks of a circumcision of the heart, which Christ accomplishes within believers, helping them to put off their sinful nature and be transformed. The observance of the Sabbath in the Old Testament is another example of a practice that foreshadowed Christ. The Sabbath provided rest from physical labor, but it also pointed to a deeper spiritual rest that believers would find in Christ. He is the true rest for our souls, providing peace and spiritual refreshment. The various judgments and events in the Old Testament, such as the ten plagues brought by Moses or the actions of other Old Testament figures, serve as types of the greater judgments and events to come through Christ. In the future, Jesus will bring about judgment and fulfill various prophecies, fulfilling the role of the ultimate and righteous judge. The Old Testament is rich with foreshadowing, prophecies, and types of Christ, all of which provide a deeper understanding of the significance of his life, death, and resurrection. It demonstrates the divine plan at work throughout history, guiding humanity towards salvation and redemption through Christ. This is why Jesus himself explained to his disciples how the Old Testament scriptures pointed to him, making it clear that the Old Testament is indeed about him. Luke chapter 24 verse 27. It is a testament to the consistency of God's plan and his unchanging nature. The Old Testament's rich tapestry of prophecies, shadows, and types of Christ not only helps us understand his mission and significance but also underscores the timeless nature of God's plan. These foreshadowings serve as a bridge between the Old and New Testaments, revealing the interconnectedness of God's redemptive narrative. One of the most profound types of Christ in the Old Testament is the concept of the Passover. The Passover lamb was sacrificed and its blood applied to the doorposts of Israelite homes to protect them from the angel of death. This foreshadowed Jesus as the ultimate Passover lamb, whose sacrifice on the cross brings protection from the eternal consequences of sin. Additionally, 
the figure of King David, who was a shepherd, a psalmist, and a man after God's own heart, serves as a type of Christ. David's reign anticipated the rule of the Messiah, who would be the Good Shepherd, the source of our worship and the embodiment of God's heart for his people. The story of Joseph, betrayed and sold into slavery by his brothers but later exalted to a position of authority, offers a vivid typology of Christ. Joseph's story reflects the betrayal of Jesus by his own people, his suffering, and his eventual exaltation as the Savior and ruler over all. The Old Testament is replete with promises and prophecies concerning the Messiah, and these provide a lens through which we can understand the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus in the New Testament. As we explore these types and shadows, we gain a deeper appreciation of the divine plan that stretches across the pages of Scripture. In conclusion, the Old Testament is a treasure trove of foreshadowings of Christ's life and mission. These types and shadows remind us that God's redemptive plan has been unfolding since the beginning of time, and his promises find their fulfillment in Jesus. By studying these connections, we can deepen our understanding of the profound continuity between the Old and New Testaments and the timeless nature of God's love and salvation.